Hello everybody, I'm Melissa and welcome back to Book Bar and welcome to another vlog. This is going to be a uh, historical romance reading vlog. I have been like craving reading some historicals. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna read. I plan on reading like one like old school historical in this and then I'll probably read some Beverly Jenkins, uh, maybe some Lorraine Heath because I know that the notorious Lord Knightley is like a book that people are loving and I'm excited. I want to read that and I want to read more Beverly Jenkins before a polycon and maybe a Joanna Shoup. We'll see. We'll see. But I definitely want to do an old school also like a Johanna Lindsay or Catherine Coulter or something like that. So we'll see what I get to. But stay tuned for me reading some historical romances. <laughs> Hello. I am 25% of the way through Destiny's Embrace by Beverly Jenkins and I'm having a really good time with this. This follows Mariah who grew up and worked for her mom and she, she had very like light brownish hazel eyes um, and everyone called her witch hazel because of her eyes um, because they aren't normal. They aren't normal black person eyes. And so she was ridiculed for most of her life. And her mom was awful. And till one day she walks out of her mom's place. Uh, her mom's, I can't even think of the word. She's a dressmaker. She walks out of her mom's shop and goes to her aunt. And her aunt's helping her get back on her feet. And she sees a note needing from a man uh, classified from a man in California needing a housekeeper. And so her aunt says, hey, you want to get away? You want to save up and open your own shop? Why don't you go do this? And so she goes to California and there she meets Logan Yates, who is very grumpy to have this woman who he thinks is just a city girl living on, helping him out. Um, because his mother, his stepmother, one asked her to come. And he is not happy because she doesn't know how to ride a horse. She can't drive a buggy. Like, he, he thinks she's just, like, a horrible city girl. And she, he's going to learn real quick that she is not who he thinks she is. So, yeah, I'm having a really good time with it. I am excited to continue. And I'll update well when I get to 50-ish percent. Hello, good morning. I am 50% of the way through uh, Destiny's Embrace by Beverly Jenkins, and I am having a fantastic time with this. So Mariah and Logan are very much like, they just are very antagonistic towards each other, but Logan is very intrigued by her, and he like went off to go have a fling with his mistress, and he you know couldn't perform because he was just he was vexed by young mariah and mariah told him the truth which i'm really glad that that because she had lied and said that she was a widow but she told logan the truth that she was not a widow which i'm really glad because i could see that being like the conflict the you know the third act conflict but between them but he knows that she is not a widow so that is wonderful but yeah i'm having a really good time and i'm excited to continue so i'm gonna go to the gym and listen to it at the gym and i will update you all at 75 percent hello good afternoon i am 75 percent of the way through destiny's embrace by beverly jenkins and i am absolutely loving it um mariah and logan are things are happening with them so and logan's stepmom is very much like Sorry if you can hear my aunt's washing machine. It is what it is. Um, but the, things are happening and Logan's stepmother, it was very much like these two are meant to be. Like they're going to be together, obviously. So I'm having a great time with it. Really enjoying it. And I am going to go so I can finish it. Um, I don't have a ton to say just because I don't want to give anything away. But I'm really loving it and I just want to go finish it. I'm gonna go and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Good morning. Last night I finished Destiny's Embrace by Beverly Jenkins and five stars. Beverly, Queen Bev did it again. 
I read this one because I really wanted to read book two because I know it was a secret baby. And this book was so, like, nobody talks about this book. Like, everyone talks about the second book. Rightfully so. Secret baby. Very divisive trope. Um, but this was so good. The banter was fantastic. Like, I loved it. I loved the way Logan and Mariah were. Um, and, yeah. And, like, the third act was, like, he, there wasn't. He was like, no, you're mine. You are mine. We are together. And like when her mom came and her ex lover, because not lover, but ex, ex guy that court tried to court her until his family decided she wasn't good enough. He came because her mom was so depressed because she, and so he wanted her to be able to make the dress for his wife. Get out of here, fool. Get the heck out of here and Logan basically told him that like step out jackass like no so yeah I loved it and I'm um, five stars so and I'm like I'm really excited I read it and I'm super excited for the next one because that is the one that like everyone talks about so yeah but I'm really glad I read this one and read the series in order and I am excited so especially because we got like the secret baby part in, in in the epilogue so I'm excited but I'm gonna go and I will update you all when I have started my next book hello good morning I am 25% of the way through the notorious Lord Knightley by Lorraine Heath and I am obsessed with it uh, so this follows Regina and Lord Knightley and there is a scandalous story written about Lord Knightley by a an, an anonymous person and he or it's Lord K not Lord Knightley and he immediately knows it's him and he knows who the who wrote it because there's only one woman who has done that to him and that is Regina whom he left at the altar so they're supposed to get married a couple years uh four or five years ago and he gets there gets to the wedding and says I can't do this and just leaves her at the altar um and you know they had already been together so things happen and she is keeping a secret from him as um I bet you can guess what it is but she wrote this wrote these tales while traveling the continent and now she's back and trying to find a husband so it is going quite it is quite interesting, um, but I'm really enjoying it and I'm excited to continue. So I'm going to go and do that and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Hello. Good morning. Uh, last night I got to 50% of well, I can't, the Notorious Lord Nightly and oh, I am obsessed. I didn't want to stop reading, but I knew I had to do an update. Plus I was getting tired and I knew I needed to stop, but I am having a fantastic time with it. Um, the angst, the tension, the, like, I know, so I don't, I, we haven't found out exactly why he can't, it didn't end up marrying her, but it has something to do with his dad, and I am, like, terrified to find out, and her brother is being a royal jacket, and yeah, I am excited to continue, but I'm loving it. I am nervous for when he finds out the secret that she's keeping, but yeah, also there's like, there's a character that has just gotten Lord Knightley all like in his feels and it is adorable and I am loving it. And yeah, I'm having a great time. I keep saying and yeah, <laughs> but I'm going to go so that I can continue reading and I might update you at 75%. I might just power through and finish it because I am loving it, uh, but I will let you know when I have an update. Hello, I am 75% of the way through the Notorious Lord Knightley and ugh, I just want them to be together. I want her to tell him his, tell him her secret. Uh, he finally told her why he jilted her at the altar and it made sense, but it's still really depressing. Uh, but yeah, I'm just working on a puzzle. It's a Disney one. And listening to the audiobook.
And I'm gonna go back and continue doing that because I need to know how this ends. So I'm gonna go and I will talk to you all when I finish. Hello, hello, I have finished my puzzle. And The Notorious Lord Knightley by Lorraine Heath. Five stars, fantastic, I loved it so much. Um, the secret that uh, Phoebe was, or I call her Phoebe, Regina was keeping. Um, Lord Knightley knew all along. <laughs> he knew the truth all along. Um, it was very obvious to him. And I mean, most of the time I feel like you, with that secret, you could probably tell. So he knew all along and he changed his ways and decided to be like, ugh. it was just so fantastic. I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, he like, so we learned why he called off his engagement was because his father was a horrible man and was keeping his mother in an insane asylum because he, his mother cheated. And so, uh, Lord Knightley was born of like, um, he was a, not, he was bastard. And so he kept the Duke or whatever, Lord, whatever he is, I can't even think. He kept his wife in an insane asylum, but he told Knightley that he would let her go if Knightley never got married and never had babies. So he didn't have an heir. And the his mom was like, I know you did this for me, but I'm not going to make you happy. You need to do this for yourself. So he stood up to his father and was like, no, you suck. I'm gonna go get married and have all sorts of babies with the love of my life. And yeah, it was just, loved it so much. So, so, so much. So I'm really glad I read, finally read this one. I've heard nothing but good things and I am adding to the nothing but good things train. So I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you all when I have started another book. Hello, I am 25% of the way through Say You Love Me by Johanna Lindsay. And the step back is gorgeous. But the book is not. Um, I am so bored. Uh, but I don't want to give up because I have a feeling I might love it. Or I could at least rage read it. I'm just hoping it's not a three star because I'm going to be really mad. But this follows Kelsey. And she needs to sell herself because her family is destitute and her uncle is like has that really bad gambling debts and she wants her sister who is quite a bit younger to be able to have a advantageous marriage so she sells her she goes to the house of eros and sells herself to be a mistress and she is sold to lord derrick who is the only son of someone a lord a different lord and he buys her and then he takes her to his home and leaves and doesn't give her any food and doesn't give her any money. And yeah, it's weird. I don't know how I feel about it. He like tried to do her in a carriage. That's about all I have so far. Um, but yeah, it's kind of boring. So we'll see what happens. Um, I know obviously it's an older historical, but I'm going to go because I'm going to keep reading. I don't know that I want to, but I'm going to. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. I'm DNFing this. Um, I just don't care. It's also part of a series. And it's book five in the series. So I think I would care more if I read more about, like, more in the series. So I might read, because this is the series that has Gentle Rogue, which I do really want to read. Um... And Love Only Once is in that series also, which I know are both like very popular Johanna Lindsay books. So maybe I would care more if I had read those. But basically this is just like they've the hero and the heroine have barely spent any time together. And I've read almost 200 pages and I just don't care. And there's like a bunch of side characters and side plots going on. And I just I don't care enough 
to torture myself for 300 more pages. So I am DNFing this and I may come back to it eventually when I have read more in the series, but for now it is a DNF, which is depressing because it does have a beautiful step back. So yeah. Um, but I have read, I haven't even read enough to count it for on the phone. But that's fine. I don't care. I'm DNFing it. Uh, and I will move on to something better, hopefully. So, that's a flop. I do have another Johanna Lindsay book here with me that I could try for this vlog. But I don't know. So yeah, that is all I have for now. I'm gonna go. And hopefully we'll be back with a better book update than this. Hello. Good afternoon. I am 25% of the way through The Duke Who Didn't by Courtney Milan. And I am enjoying it. Um, this follows Jeremy and Chloe. And they knew each other when they were younger. Is what I'm gathering. But Jeremy, like, he comes back like every summer or something. I'm kind of confused about what's going on but I'm kind of confused about what's going on but I'm just gonna let it roll and we're gonna see I'm enjoying it more than the book I DNF'd but yeah I don't really have a ton to say so I'm gonna go and continue reading it and I'll talk to you all in the next one hello good evening I am 50% of the way through The Duke Who Didn't by Courtney Milan and I am less confused I think because it had taken me a couple days to get like to film my update and once I like sat down and like listened again, I remembered what was going on. Um, so Jeremy, he comes to this town like once a summer and then he always leaves um, because he happens to be a Duke, but none of his friends know that he is the Duke. So, um, because this town has a lot of uh, Asian immigrants and so he fits in there because he is part Asian and I don't remember if he's Chinese or Japanese, so that's why I don't want to say Taiwanese, Cantonese, there's lots of, so he is part Asian. And um, this city or part town that they live in has a lot of Asians. And so he goes there like once a year and fits in, but he is the Duke. So yeah, uh, he, him and Chloe have shared a kiss, but he hasn't told her the truth. So yeah, but I'm having a great time with it. I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to go so I can keep listening to it and I'll talk to you out in the next one. Hello. Good afternoon. Just hanging out with my man, Elvis. Uh, but I am 75% of the way through the Duke Who Didn't and I am really enjoying it. Um, Chloe is like not afraid to tell Jeremy what she wants. She's not afraid to tell Jeremy what she wants and is not like shy about anything. So yeah, but I'm having a great time with it and I am going to go so I can continue reading it and I don't have a ton more to say other than that. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous for when he tells her the truth, but we shall see. But yeah, I'm going to go and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Good morning. Last night I finished... Uh, the Duke Who Didn't by Courtney Milan and five stars. I loved it so much. Uh, I feel like other than the DNF, this vlog has gone phenomenally. Um, the, like, Jeremy saying that he's, the, everyone knew he was the Duke all along, which, I mean, I guess I could probably, I could have told, like, guessed that, but it kind of was like, whoa, everyone knew. So, which I love, you know, I love that in both of these, there's been like a secret that one of the main characters has been keeping, but it didn't, it's not affecting things. Like it doesn't lead to the third act breakup or anything. So I loved it. And the epilogue was so fun, um, especially like when they get their revenge from uh, Chloe's dad being, having his sauce stolen. So yeah, I loved it. Um, I'm just making coffee so I can start my day and yeah I am so excited that this vlog has gone swimmingly and I'm like really feeling the historicals like I just want to read all of the historicals right now so I'm gonna go 
and I will talk to you all when I have picked out another book. Hello, I am 25% of the way through The Bride Goes Rogue by Joanna Shoup, and I'm loving this. So this follows Catherine and Preston, and Catherine believes that her and Preston are betrothed, and she's been waiting for him for a year, and she's like, goes to show, she shows up at his work, and is like, all right, let's start planning this wedding, let's do this, and he's like, um, no, I will never marry you. And so she is like, what the hell? I've waited an entire year for you. This is some BS. So she asks her friend to take her to a special club party night. And they go, she goes and she is disguised and she sees a man also in disguise and turns out that the man is Preston. They have a night together and he like wants to make her his mistress. But when she shows up and is... Catherine, he is shocked and unhappy. So, but I am having a great time with this. She is very mad. And I'm assuming he's going to have a pretty good grovel to do. So, I just also love, like, Joanna Shoup's clinches are fantastic. So, yeah, I'm going to go and keep reading. And I'll talk to you all when I get to 50%. Rogue by Joanna Shoup and I am loving this so much. It is so good. The like tension between the two of them and they've like become friends, reluctant allies kind of and I'm just, I'm, I'm intrigued as to what happened with her dad and him to make him so angry but I am having a fantastic time with this. And I can't imagine it not getting five stars, which would make this vlog very successful because all of the books would have been five stars except for the one named DNF. But that's DNF, so. And like, I DNF'd it because I was probably only gonna get like three stars. It's not like it was bad. I just wasn't having a great time with it. So I am hoping that this ends up being very successful, but I'm loving it so far. And like, they had a carriage moment, which I love a in the car scene, in a carriage scene, like so much. And yeah, there's just been, and Kit and um, what, why can't I think of her name? Is the girl from book two, but they are adorable. And like, they're just like, Kit's like, no, I like very, like he feels very protective of Catherine, which I love. And then there's Nellie who's just, she, I know she's the last book in the series and she's like wild and free and fun and, but I'm having a great time with this and I'm so glad I finally read it. So yeah, I am going to go because I want to continue reading it because I am loving it so much and I will talk to you all when I get to 75%. Good evening. I was in bed fully intending on just getting to 75% and ending this for the night. I'm like filming this, filming this clip in the morning, but after what just happened, I need to know. So Catherine and Preston have been having some fun times together. Uh, Catherine had discovered that her dad is moving on after his wife died. And she was unhappy about it. So she went to Preston and they did some stuff. And then and Preston and her have just kind of been going on, having a good time. Well, Preston did some pretty shady stuff for his business. And it really, it like actually truly affected Catherine. And he's got a lot of explaining to do. And I need to know what happens. So I'm going to go because I need to know. And I will talk to you all when I finish. Hello. Good morning. 
Did I completely binge this entire book in one day because I couldn't put it down? Yes, yes I did. Um, was that the plan? Absolutely not. <laughs> I had planned to read like 50% and then like stop and finish it today and that did not happen. I could not put it down. I needed to know what happened, especially like at the 75% mark. He had like the groveling that Preston did. If a man doesn't show up at a secluded cabin and spend a week cooking for you while like hiding that he's cooking for you, I don't want him. I don't want him. Uh, he may have done some shady things, but you find out her father did some shady things too and to kind of push them together because both his dad and her dad knew that they were like meant to be. And it was just adorable. I loved it so much. Like so, so, so good. And yeah, I am excited to read the, the last book in the series. Like I, okay, I know a lot of people didn't love the first one, The Heiress Hunt. I really enjoyed it. And then I loved The Lady Gets Lucky, like everyone else, Kit and Alice, which I remember her name now. <laughs> Kit and Alice were adorable. I loved them. But I, and I loved this one. I might even love this one a little bit more, which I know a lot of people don't. I have an unpopular opinion. I tend to have those with historicals, I feel like, but yeah, another five star, knock it out of the park, read. And yeah, I am going to close this vlog out here because I'm going to end it on a high. So I had two five stars, a DNF, and then two more five stars. So a fantastic vlog. I mean, if you take out the DNF, five star feels for all of these. And I am just in my historical era and wanting to read all of the historicals. So if you have any suggestions of like, especially I really want to get like a five star old school historical. So if you have any suggestions of any, even a four star would be good. Leave them down in the comments. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a bed emoji because just ugh, stunning. You know, I've already talked about it, but stunning. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It really helps me out. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye.